If you think you know what's happening, you're probably wrong. Microbes really do have a role in keeping the oceans healthy. If they weren't there, you really wouldn't want to swim in the ocean. It would be an open sewer, you know, and people dump things into it all the time. All the other organisms are living there, doing their thing. It's the microbes that clean it all up and turn everything back into clean carbon dioxide and water and burn it all up and convert it back into nutrients that the plants can use. And it is the action of all those microbes that keeps the ocean healthy in that regard. Hi, my name is Julio Cesar Ignacio Espinosa. Uh, we are the former lab at USC, and I'm a senior laboratory scientist. I study viruses mostly and the in their interaction with uh, other microbes. Well, Caesar's looking at several things. One of his main focus points are viruses in the ocean, and most of the viruses are unknown. So we're working in the dark a lot of the time. So Caesar is trying to figure out uh, how many of the different kinds there are and how they change over time and space. So we left uh, the Port of LA about like, one hour and 30 minutes ago. We're heading to a spot that's the long term uh, ecological site that we have. Uh, it's been sampled for over 20 years, once a month. SPOT stands for the San Pedro Ocean Time Series. Time series are important because uh, it, they allow you to determine long-term changes in a system, such as over decades uh, with global change happening. It's really important to know that. They also let you understand a system incredibly well. It is fascinating that we have, I mean, there's really few data sets like this in the world. CTD stands for Conductivity Temperature Depth Sensor. What it is, is a, an instrument that measures the electrical conductivity of seawater, and it measures the temperature of the water, and it measures the depth that the sensor is at. The CTD is going to fire at different depths, and uh, we're going to be collecting samples for microbes, viruses, uh, count them, uh, extract the DNA, RNA, and, and measure their production. There's a lot of things going on out there that we haven't discovered yet, and you have to keep the mind open enough for the possibility that something really big has been missed by everything we've looked at already. And that's, I think, a very important perspective that we all need to keep. I, I get really seasick, uh, but I'm, I'm doing well today. Let's see, I might have to take a break at some point. Just, the key is not to eat, don't eat anything. Thank you.